Hi friends, today I released the new version of WVD Admin to give you more functionality to the Spring Update. So, if you install 154, then you can additionally move resources from the Fall Update to the Spring Update. So, let me show it. First, I select my environment and I already set it to Fall and Spring Update and saved it and then reload the resources. With this configuration, I get all resources in the fall and in the spring update of WVD. So on the top, we have our older fall update of WVD and on the knees, WVD V2. This is where are my resources for the spring update. I have one host pool already there, a demo host pool, but I will show you how easy it is to move resources from the fall update to the spring update. So let's check out the resource in the fall update. I go for the design host pool. The design host pool, I created it months ago, has, um, has some configuration and I want to move or to copy this configuration from this host pool into a WVD Spring Update. So right click, migrate host pool settings to WVD Spring Update. Select the name, I use the same name, design, and select a subscription and a loca location. So I go for subscription and resource group i added my service principle to the resource group and i gave the service principle the permission owner that is needed to set permission on the resources on top to allow user logging on to specific application groups or starting application in application groups so i go for design 2 and i select the location today there are only us location but this isn't important. It's only where the metadata are stored. It's independent from the location of the session host later. Okay. And then it starts. It take a while. It creates a host pool in the spring update. Copy the application and application groups and so on. What I don't copy, these are the permission for the application groups. And there's one reason why I don't do that. I bet that in the most case, you would prefer to use groups instead of single user. And in the fall update, you can't use groups. So I don't want to copy single user entry to the new resource in WVD Spring Update to later remove them with um, the right application, uh, right group, user group. So that is what you would not see there. Let us go back. There is our new host pool with the same name and it has the same configuration from the RDP setting, the other settings and the application groups, a desktop and the application. You will miss the icons now. We will see the icons later. What you don't have at this point, you don't have migrate the session host. But you can do this or better, you can move the session host if you want to do that. I would prefer to roll out new session host from an image into the new host pool instead of moving the older one. But if you want to do that, you can do it. And it's more important if you have VDI or if you have a VDI host pool with assigned user, which I will show you later. So let us go to the original host pool. There are some session hosts. And I want or I would prefer to start with, with one host pool. And you can right click and say change host pool. And in the list, you see all your host pools and at the button the new host pools in the spring update this is a new created one so let them select 
keep user assignment. It's not important for, um, for shared session host, but if you want to move VDIs with personal assigned user, you can select keep user assignment, then the user will be assigned on the same session host in the new host pool. You can use this additionally if you deselect this and move your session host to the same host pool. That is, then it, that is a good way to remove the user assignment from the specific session host. But we want to move the one session host to the new created host pool in the spring update. So let us click OK. One thing is important. The session host you want to move must be switched on. And the session host must be rolled out with WVD admin because it needs um, the installation file in the C on the C drive inside the virtual machine in the folder ITPC um, and so far, which the script used to connect to the new host pool. So give it a minute. That takes a while. Now it corrects the WD pass tag. This tag is used sometimes um, from my Azure Monitor solution or um, Autoscale solution to get the right WD host pool name. This is only then used if you if it cannot be discovered automatically inside the virtual machine. That can happen with some installed, or if you have installed and configured language packs. So the host is gone from this host pool. And let me scroll down and refresh our host pool or new host pool. And there is the virtual machine. At this point, we can bring the application icon to work. The icons are created if you create a new application and you have a running session host inside. At the first time we migrate the settings, we had a session host, though the system couldn't get the application icon. But we can do that again, migrating the settings of our fall host pool in the same way. And this will override the settings, including the icons, which can now be resolved from the running session host inside. So let us refresh. In this case, I have to refresh all because the icons are only shown, they are already there, um, only shown if I refresh or reload all my settings and build the tree view from the beginning. Give it a second. There are all icons. So let us, let us move the other session hosts from our older host pool. I go to my fall update to my host pool design called design. Go to the session host and there are already three left. And I can change the host pool for all of them. And please make sure that all the hosts, the session hosts are running and coming from WD admin, having the files and the C drive. If that, click OK. 
select a new host pool and click OK. Then it moves the session host and parallel, which save you some time compared to move a single one. Oh, that looks good. So now all my host pools, um, all my session hosts are removed into the new host pool. And you can see there's already one user logged in. This works without breaking the connection. Um, what I prefer to do at this point, I would reboot, and I will do it later, every single session host to make sure that um, application using the tags or are dependent from the host pool name or tenant name or subscription name in this case um, have the right values. My solution Azure Monitor for WD and um, Azure Autoscale for WD exactly use this parameter and to bring them to work you have to simply reboot the session host to make sure that everything runs fine. So. We have our new host pool, we have the session host, we have the configuration for the application. What we need as well, we need a user assignment. And that is what I not move, what I not copy from the fall update, um, because I'm sure that you want to use user groups instead of single users at this point. So go to the desktop and give them some permission. User group assignment. And yes, you can do all the same from the Azure portal now. These are my groups and I give the desktop. Oh, let me do the desktop only for me. And give the other users permission to the standard application. And that includes me. Okay, fine. So we have the host pool, session host, the application and the permission for the application. The host pools have no assignment to users in this case. And what we need to see them in as a client, we need a workspace. Workspace holding application, application groups, which will then be shown to the user. At a workspace, um, let me give it a name. This is like designer workspace. Select a subscription and resource group. I take the, one, the same one and the location. The location for, for, um, for the workspace must be the same for the host pool. And it's independent from the session host. Okay. There is my workspace. And then I link the application groups to this workspace. So I have linked to standard apps from my host pool design and desktop application group from the same host pool. So let us take a look into the remote desktop client. Refresh. I'm not end with this user. Okay. Here is our new workspace called Designer Workspace with application from the new created or migrated host pool. So let me try if I can start it. Um, 
there is my session. I got a message in the background that I lost my connection because I was logged in with the same user and got the session host again. So log off. Yeah, and you can see it works very easily to migrate an existing host pool into the Spring Update. And you can move your session host as well. What you can do, I thought I think this is ready. What you can do additionally, oh, which is nearly the same, you can migrate personal assigned session hosts in the same way. I have a host pool called VDI. With VDI, they're all personal assigned. And I can do the migration job in the same manner. I will make it very fixed as in a fast forward. Get host pool second to WD Spring Update. Give it the same name. Select a resource group and a target location for the metadata. And give it a, give it a try. So the first is coming. Take a look. The assignment is missing, but it's still working. Give it a give him a second. Give it a second. Oh, there is a user assignment copied from the original host pool configuration or session host setting in the older host pool. So that's for, for, for that's that's all. Thanks, thank you for listening. Thanks, and I hope you have fun with WD Admin and the fall update and the spring update or both. Thanks a lot, and have a good day.